in your bingo career, what was the biggest jackpot you hit? Um, well, my lucky number was B14, and back in, I think it was Cincinnati, um, I was at the one firehouse there, and I actually hit for $1,400. And, uh, earlier that night, I got 1100 so it was 20, uh, what was that, like 3900 No, I think my math's wrong, but you know what I mean. What did you spend that money on? Well, that's about when I bought my first car. I got, a, it was like a, it was a 2000 Cavalier, I think they're called. What was your strategy in your bingo profession? Just cheat. I would look what other number people were picking, and then if they called it, I'd quick move their pieces or wipe their boards off. These old women, they're not paying attention. You know, I'm always riding around with the trunk of KY just to please these groovy women, and the whole reason behind it was they would pay my entry fee for the bingo. So I'm winning all this money, and my groupies are paying for it. Oh, the Bingus Five. It started out as the Dingus Five. We didn't make that name up. We changed it to the Bingus Five because we were all real good at bingo. So with bingo, people don't realize how much skill it takes like that. There's no other, I, I almost call it a sport or gambling in the in the world that takes as much skill like you have to know you have to look at that cage and you have to know what balls are going to be coming up and you have to pick the right ones and if you become good enough you look at the cage and the way it's made you know you know you know what balls are going to come up and if you don't know you make sure that you add in a dab on that spot and then that way you get it gotta keep winning